Thanks so much for sticking with us. With temperatures still very much like summer, it may seem a little early to be thinking about the flu. But doctors say that isn't the case, especially for the elderly population. KX HD News reporter Ian Smith met with the doctor today, and he joins us in studio. Ian, doctors say the flu is already in Brazos County, and that's a big issue for seniors. Why are they at risk more than others? Tashar, the elderly have a higher risk simply because they are older. For many seniors, their immune systems just don't fight off the flu as easy as a healthy person, say in their 20s or their 30s. That's why a local organization is acting now. So we've got the white washcloth in case of a fever. When it comes to our seniors, a little extra care is needed for flu season. Giving them a uh, little antibacterial wipes or um, uh, the Kleenex, disposable Kleenex, instead of using things like a handkerchief, they aren't as exposed to the virus, therefore they're less likely to get it. The CDC says up to 20% of the U.S. population gets the flu each year, and around 200,000 of those people end up in the hospital. Getting a flu shot early is key, but even then, seniors are at risk because they have a compromised immune system. What that means is if you get the flu when you're older, you're more likely to get complications from it. The flu can cause severe pneumonia and dehydration, and then it's really hard to come back from that. That's why Visiting Angels is giving out 100 of these free flu kits. And those home health companies can take a look at their patients and see who's more at risk, um, who maybe has a weaker immune system. From hand sanitizer and soap to vitamin C and washcloths, care is front and center. We're hoping if it can save one person from getting the flu this year, especially somebody in the senior population, um, then that's what we would like to do. Not only the seniors need to be a little more careful this year, the rest of us also do. The good news is you can actually get a flu shot. You can go get a flu shot, and a lot of times they're pretty cheap or even free. Good stuff. A lot of times, I think, even with me, honestly, people are scared to get a flu shot because they feel it'll make them sick. So did you get any information about that? I did. That? You know, actually, I asked Dr. Greiner, what happens when you get a flu shot? Can you actually get the flu? The good answer, no, you can't. You might feel a little bit clammy afterwards, but that's because your immune system is actually going into effect. Good stuff. Thanks so much, Ian. You're welcome.